Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shane. So for today's video, as you can see, I have a tray here full of fragrances. So this is my perfume tray for January. So I've decided to make a perfume tray um, for me to be able to use up all of the fragrances that I have. And um, so this are all the fragrances. I'm enjoying the perfume tray videos for the past year. So um, right now I've decided to make one for myself because I've been, I have a lot of fragrances. And um, yes, I've decluttered a lot last year, 2022, but I also bought a lot too. So um, I want to be able to use up all of my fragrances. So I'm planning to have a monthly perfume tray. And these are the fragrances that I'm planning to use. Um, this January. So if you want to hear my thoughts about these fragrances, why I want to use this for this month, please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with my YSL Libre Intense. This is a lavender vanilla type of fragrance. This one to me, I prefer to use this um, in a colder month just because it's a powerhouse. Um, it lasts very long. It's a very long-lasting fragrance. The lavender in here is toned down, um, and it's more vanillic, and it's more um, crowd-pleasing. So this one, since it's very heavy for me, I'm planning to use this up during the colder um, season or the colder months. Again, this is why it's a Libre Intense, such a powerhouse of fragrance. And then I have my Hypnotic Poison. So Hypnotic Poison, this is actually my um, bedtime scent last night. Yeah, so this is Hypnotic Poison. Um, this is a cult favorite. I'm not going to say favorite because I've been hearing a lot of bad, bad reviews as well. But most of the... Um, most of the people that are watching in YouTube, they love Hypnotic Poison. Um, I also love Hypnotic Poison because to me, it's a vanillic powdery type of scent. Um, I don't know, but whenever I'm spraying this, I, I'm like imagining a cashmere wrapped in me whenever I'm wearing this scent. scent. So this is very comforting. Um, it's a comforting type of scent to me. So... I love to wear this during the colder months as well, just because it can be a little bit too much for the um, like summer for me. So Hypnotic Poison for January. Next is Yes I Am Casherelle from Casherelle. So this is a fruity, creamy, lactonic kind of scent. It's very warm and cozy so it's perfect for this type of weather you can see my dent in here and i feel like i'm gonna use this up um this year so again yes i am casherelle such an easy wear easy reach very creamy um type of scent next is versace crystal noir this is the edt to me, it is a fresh and spicy type of scent. The opening is very spicy, but you can also um, smell some freshness. I feel like the gardenia in this fragrance um, is giving it a shampoo-y type of scent. And as it dries down, it started to get a little bit powdery. It's a very nice scent. If I'm craving... Um, a spicy type of fragrance i usually pull out for this and um it's very long lasting as well so i cannot really wear this at home with my kids because it's such a powerhouse um and it can be too much i over sprayed this one time and um, i literally choke after i over sprayed this so this one don't over spray because it's a very strong fragrance but it's such a really nice, sexy type of scent. So I'm planning to wear this on a colder season. I actually wear this um, during summer. 
one time and then it's too spicy for me in the summer months so i'm planning to wear this during the colder months and then i'm gonna go through the travel sprays um later so another one is dolce and gabbana the only one intense so i prefer this over the original um the only one to me the original although i love a coffee note in a fragrance that one on my skin there is something screechy um with that fragrance so i decided to buy a full bottle of this because to me it's this one is more smoother and creamier they smell completely different and um, to me i'm planning to wear this during the colder months just because the apple note in here shines um shines on my skin during the colder season um at heat this one is mostly white floral to me during summer so um i really love the green apple note in here so that's why i'm planning on on wearing this one during just the colder months just because the the green apple scent um gives this freshness and juiciness um so yeah this is the only one intense smells very nice very sophisticated and classy as well another one this is a recent purchase this is floral street wild vanilla orchid to me this is such an underrated um, fragrance because it smells really nice it's fruity it's vanillic at the same time it has this green note to it that gives this um like a freshness the green notes in here is not polarizing it's just add a little bit of fresh quality to this fragrance it's a fruity fresh green type of vanilla scent i really love this it's actually my scent of the day and i'm planning on on wearing this um like at home because it's a clean fragrance so i'm not um gonna be guilty whenever i'm wearing it because i feel like whenever i'm wearing like um not a clean fragrance at home with my kids i feel a little bit guilty but um i want to be able to enjoy my fragrance as well so um if i'm gonna wear like a scent like the hypnotic poison i'm just not gonna over spray i am an over sprayer but um if i like to wear a regular fragrance at home um, I might not overspray, but with my dossiers, because dossier is a clean fragrance, I overspray them <laughs> and I don't feel guilty. <laughs> Next is Van Cleef and Arpels Bois Doré. I've bought a lot of um, vanilla fragrance last month, December of 2022. I feel like I'm on a vanilla kick lately. This is a woody vanilla scent. It smells really nice but still light at the same time. It's not a heavy type of vanilla scent. So I'm planning on wearing this for this month. And another recent purchase, I didn't um, make a haul because I feel like I've been making a lot of hauls lately. Um, and I did not make a haul video. But this is Uduel EDT and this one, another vanilla, but it's a green vanilla. But to me, the green notes in here is, it's not polarizing, it's not too much, it's just enough for my liking. I love um, a green note on my fragrance. I enjoy, I actually enjoy a green aromatic type of notes in fragrance. And this one, it's not overbearing, so I feel like I can wear this all year round. And I have four travel sprays. I'm gonna start with my Kayali. I have Love Fest Burning Cherry in here. It's a nice cherry type of fragrance, but on my skin, the cherry is there, but uh, my skin pulls out a little bit more of the Palo Santo. So um, the Palo Santo note in this fragrance is more prominent on my skin. I love layering this with my Dossier's Ambery Cherry. I really love that fragrance and um, 
it's such a nice layering type of scent to me so i'm planning to wear this one for this month and kayali vanilla 28 i'm on a vanilla kick lady lately so it, as you can see my perfume tray for this month has a lot of vanilla scents so to me this is a great layering combo so i'm not gonna wear this alone just because to me it doesn't has um more depth to be a for me to be able to wear this alone um it's just a straight up vanilla kind of scent to me so this is this too the kayali fragrances that i have it's gonna be more of a layering scent for me so yeah that's my kayali and i have two decants i've been buying a lot of decants because I bought a lot of full-size bottle lately and I wanted to try a lot of fragrances and I cannot buy too many full-size bottle just because first of all it's not practical for me although yes maybe I can buy them but it's not practical because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear them all so I wanted to try them first before I'm um, um i decide to like buy a full-size bottle but this is my new year scent this is bdk gris charnel this one it's a woodsy fresh aromatic kind of scent to me it smells really nice but actually i didn't really expect this um kind of scent so because to me the opening of this fragrance is a forger like kind of scent and then it dry, dries down to a powdery woody kind of scent to me so i actually expected this to be a like tea forward type of fragrance so when i smelled it the first time although i like it it doesn't blow me away so <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna buy a full size bottle of Gris Charnel, but as of the moment, I'll enjoy my 10 ml and um, see if I'm gonna crave it. Then I will definitely buy a full size bottle, but if not, maybe I'm just gonna finish my 10 ml. Next is Tiziana Terenzi's Deluxe. You guys, this smells really nice. I just recently decluttered my Rose Gourmand, but the first time I smelled it, the first time I sprayed this, this reminded me so much of Rose Gourmand, but this is just a, a smoother, more um, like refined version of Rose Gourmand. Um, they smell completely similar, but to me, the Rose Gourmand, it's... It's a little bit sharper to my nose that's why i decluttered but this one i really really enjoyed um i'm not really a fan of rose in a fragrance but this is the rose that i actually enjoy it smells really nice it's a rose vanillic kind of fragrance yeah it smells really nice so deluxe i'm planning to wear this because um I can only pull out this kind of scent during the colder months, so I'm planning to wear this one too. So Tiziano Terenzi. So that wraps up my perfume tray for this month. I'm hoping to, to use them all up. And um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video again and again if you like these types of video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and um, join me in this fragrance journey. So yeah, bye guys. See you on my next video.